this will be my third year qualifying for the NFR. It was in me when I was born. You know, my parents have been around it my whole life. Uh, on my dad's side, we have a horse ranch in Bogosa Springs, Colorado. And then on my mom's side, we have a cow ranch there. So I grew up riding horses ever since before I could walk. And then I got to see my dad growing up ride bucking horses too and stuff. So I, I knew that was something that I'd always wanted to do and I finally get a chance to. Been breaking my ankle in the middle of the 2018 season. I was sitting second in the world and about to catch Jacob, who's number one, and then out there to my second NFR and pretty much learned about every way to get bucked off a horse. So, I mean, that was a big learning curve and, and just fighting back through that and, and getting back to where I was consistent and being able to make my third NFR, that's definitely been a challenge. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> this is my first year qualifying for the national finals. It'll be no different going into the finals than any other rodeo, honestly. Just keep it simple and don't overthink it because I think if you're going to overthink going into the finals and pressure up and try to practice too much, you're going to go in there real tired and sore. So my game plan is just honestly to practice, stay, keep my rope and sharp and just run a few calves every week and just try to stay sharp. And that's my biggest plan is to be ready and be ready to blast. Um, we have a great team and Mark preaches there's no I in team so we're always pushing everybody to get better and we have a leadership council deal that helps a bunch of people where there's about 15 kids in there that kind of goes around and we try to improve the rodeo teams. Getting to be on the team is honestly a privilege and getting to push everybody and being in the practice is awesome.